A local business that has been in Crestview for more than 30 years was destroyed by fire early this morning in one of the most spectacular structure fires North Okaloosa County has seen in recent years. Find out which business and if anyone was injured today on the CVC TV local news channel. Also on the local news channel, less than three days after the city of Crestview welded shut the entrance to this stormwater drainage tunnel near Twin Hills Park, in which a two-year-old child was rescued from on February 8th, vandals have once again pried loose the heavy lid and made their way into the labyrinth of tunnels that crisscross beneath the city. That story, with reaction from Public Works Director Wayne Steele, today on the CVC TV local news channel. On the CVC TV community channel, merchants from the Downtown Main Street Association met with city officials this week to discuss recent proposals by the city to charge an impact fee for parking spaces in the downtown business district. Excerpts from that meeting coming this weekend on the CVC TV community channel. Also coming this weekend on the community channel, Florida State Seminole head baseball coach Mike Martin visited Crestview and spoke at this year's Wild Game Dinner sponsored by the Crestview Rotary Club. Coach Martin's entire address to the community this weekend on the CVC TV community channel. In other news, the Crestview City Council held its regularly scheduled business meeting Monday night. Topics discussed included Texas Parkway residents unhappy over the removal of stop signs along their roadway. Monday evening's City Council meeting can be viewed in its entirety later today on the CBC TV community channel. The Crestview Police Department rescued this two-year-old baby from the depths of the city's bacterial-infested storm water drainage system in a dramatic rescue operation Sunday morning. That story with lots of video later today on the CVC TV local news channel. The United States Air Force announced Friday that it is going ahead with plans to call Eglin Air Force Base home to the newly developed F-35 Lightning II. Protest by citizens in Valparaiso over the level of noise the Joint Strike Fighter would make delayed the decision for months. Major General Charles Davis, who will become Eglin's senior officer this spring and oversees the Joint Strike Fighter program, said the aircraft's noise levels may not be as loud as earlier evaluations found. Look for this new bird to be flying over northwest Florida sometime in March of 2011. Eglin could receive as many as 59 of the aircraft, including versions especially designed for the Navy and Marine Corps. A female Okaloosa County Sheriff deputy was attacked in the parking lot of a Crestview store Thursday afternoon with the assailant breaking the windshield out of the deputy's car and damaging others with shopping carts. That story and video from the scene of the wild rampage later today on the local news channel. Also on the local news channel, Crestview firefighters had to rescue two men Thursday afternoon that got trapped dozens of feet underground in storm drainage tunnels running between Twin Hills Park and downtown Crestview. That story now on the local news channel. The Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office has arrested two men in connection with the January 27th armed robbery of the South Avenue Coin Laundry in Fort Walton Beach. Find out who they are today on the local news channel. North Okaloosa County saw a flurry of air ambulances medevac trauma patients from the Crestview area Sunday. One individual was flown by air ambulance to a Pensacola trauma center early Sunday morning with at least one gunshot wound. Crestview police responded to 598 East Robinson Street around 8.30 a.m. and found a person lying on the floor inside the home unconscious. 
It was apparent the individual was the victim of a gunshot wound. Police would not say whether the victim was a man, woman, or if the victim had been shot intentionally or accidentally by another person, or if the wound was self-inflicted. As of 11 p.m. Sunday evening, no further information about the incident was being made available. Two additional air ambulances landed in the vacant lot next to Lowe's around 4.30 Sunday afternoon to transport a man and woman that were traveling together on Interstate 10 when their car overturned at least three times near the Crestview exit eastbound on-ramp. Fortunately, North Okaloosa firefighters responded to traffic crashes as the driver of the overturned vehicle, who had suffered severe head trauma, had to be extricated out of the vehicle by the first responders. Firefighters from Crestview also assisted at the crash scene and stood by for support and fire suppression while the air ambulances were on the ground. A third individual that was traveling in the car was transported to the North Okaloosa Medical Center for treatment. The Florida Highway Patrol is investigating that accident. If it's happening in North Okaloosa County, then most likely you will see and hear it 